all amber celestial angel here and as you can see it is we've had some snow here so beautiful and I am going to actually talk about water again and the power of our thoughts and how water plays into all of that now if you haven't seen the um, Masuru Emoto, I believe is his name, The Water Experiment. I encourage you to go check that out. So it's all about how our words, our thoughts, affect water directly. And in this experiment, it showed as you speak loving, positive words to the water, like love, joy, happiness, the water responds and it shows beautiful shapes, beautiful, um, just looks beautiful. And as they spoke to it, um, you know, negatively, anger, um, hate, things like that, the water actually showed very icky. Um, it was, yeah, just doesn't look good. And, um, so this experiment tells us a lot about what we tell ourselves and of course water and the water you consume and I would suggest definitely putting love into your water every time you drink it so um, yes or have um, you know stickers or writing on your water but as our bodies are made up of over 70% of water and your brain even more so or um, there's you know a lot of I forget the exact I would have to look it up so I'm not gonna speak on that but there's a, a good portion of water in your brain and so what you tell yourself what you consume um, that is water and that is absorbing water holds memory also water holds memory so as you um, tell these things it's almost like it can it can hold it in your body or in your mind or your body and it's really not healthy you know um, words truly are power words are power they truly are and um, you can create or you can destroy and there have been many who have wanted to destroy so that's why <laughs> A lot of words currently are and why a lot of media and a lot of things and um, and um, music and this kind of thing is actually lower octaves and using negative words more than um, good positive stuff but <laughs> so that had been now we're here in a time that Many are remembering, and um, and I'm bringing this to you as well. Your words are power, and it starts within yourself, in yourself, and telling yourself the beautiful, lovely things you deserve to hear for yourself. And this shifts you. This shifts your body physically. It gives you a cellular and DNA shift. And as well as, of course, your mind and your thoughts. It shifts. Your thoughts shift. You shift as you come more into your soul essence. Love, right? Harmony, balance, peace, joy. These things truly, um, it, it, it becomes a way of being, literally, in your being, in your physical self. And um, I want to mention, too, something I had just recently learned as well, which I found so fascinating, so interesting, is um, I cannot see myself at all. Um, it's so bright out here that I can't see anything as I'm doing this video, so my eyes are kind of squinty, but hey, I, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the beauty, so I wanted to bring the video out here, out in nature, outside. 
So, um, yes. So, something I found very interesting. I just learned about, um, oh, long story. But I love the divine and the signs and synchronicities, how they all end up just mm, coming together. But, so I learned about recently the cerebral spinal fluid. And this is a fluid, um, and it goes down the sides of the brain and meet, you know, into the back and go down, down, and um, down to your last chakra point. I believe it's, well, no, it's as far as it can go. I think it, that's as far as the sacral. Um, maybe the but it goes down that spinal column, right, directly from here. Your third eye or your pineal gland. And... In between, you've got, um, you know, your other parts of your brain. The thalamus is a very important one, too. But here, so this is water and fluid. Wa this is flu, not water necessarily. It's a fluid. And, and um, but yes, water is part of it. But some say it's what, um, okay, I'm not going to share that. But yes, it is here, and it goes here, and back down your chakra points, and um, yes, and starts here. And that's your third eye. That is your spiritual eye. That's the spiritual eye, how you see um, the magic. How, um, how you see that magic, how you experience it, and also... Um, how you connect, how you connect. Now here we connect through the crown um, to the one, this two great spirit, holy creator God, like bringing it through so we can see it, right? So um, very important um, to have clear, clean chakras, of course, but I mean, just knowing about that, um, that third eye, how powerful it really is and how this is how you experience the spiritual, um, how you're able to really see it and experience it. And it's so beautiful and magical. So, so much water, right? So much water. And um, within our beings, our bodies, and just how important it is to love yourself, tell yourself beautiful loving things and to fill your water your vessel yourself um, with good things good music good thoughts good media um, which you have to look alternatively for that of course um, but yes good things if you want good in your life and to create good and um you know, nurture, nurture, water is the feminine sign as well, water is the feminine sign, um, she is nurturing, gentle, um, yet also she can be fierce, and she can be um, I'm just thinking of the ocean, like a crashing wave, you know. She can be fierce and tough and strong. She is. After all, she is a giver of life. You've got to be strong for that. But she's so nurturing and will hold you and rock you and love you. And, um, yeah, that's the beauty in, in the water and in the thoughts and in the Divine Feminine, Divine Mother, it's just all so beautiful. And I will be talking about fire here soon because I've got the, the fire um, stuff happening as well that's happened. But um, my first thing was, um, yes, water. The magic and wonder and um, just perplexity of water and how important it really is for all life, right? All life um, has water, needs water in some way. 
So there we have it. And if you would like any sessions or services, you can visit my website, amberceptialangel.com. Much love and many blessings. Bye.